for South Carolina, both in the lineup and off their bench. Led by this woman right here, Leah Boston, the face up and the finish. Here pretty much in South Carolina's backyard, just down the road away from Columbia. There's a tiny bit of UCLA blue sprinkled in. And few, if any, in the women's game have the resume. An All-American as a player, Olympic gold medal. Don Saley says, we're not a jump to the ball team. We are a locked in defensive team and they will switch like there. And they'll switch to steal, not switch to contain. You talk about style, Debbie. Both these coaches referred to their games against Stanford in terms of their preparation for one another today. As Beal hits the three. What, yellow? A red to yellow, yep. you know, like she's not quite a green, meaning has a free freedom to shoot whenever she wants. She does take good decisions with the ball, though. That's a great spot for her to take jump shots. Boston wanted a touch, and she's got one. Mm. Drag that pivot she for it, got away with a walk, but yep. hits the bucket. One of the things about this South Carolina defense, Debbie, not just the shot blockers, but they are long on the perimeter, too, with Saxton guarding Charisma, and Osborne hits it. Yara Fletcher, the transfer from Georgia Tech, who's been the starter at the point all year. Mid-range, Boston, another offensive rebound, and Beal with the stick back. Good job that time by the Bruins down low. They would like to score quickly if they could before South Carolina gets organized. Just like that, Conti looked much more confident. Part of their MO is to rebound misses. They rebound almost 50% yeah. of the shots they miss it's and a, get a second chance. It's definitely a ridiculous number. Paul! Looking to beat a buzzer. Oh, did she keep that dribble alive? Good defense by Osborne. And they don't get a shot up. We want the defensive three-second yes. rule. Agreed. That means you, you can't be, like, you can't play and sit on people's lap. We're taking away the skill set of our game and some of our great post play. Rice, tough shot. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. Or Raven Johnson will do that to you. Carves up the D. If nothing else, the Bruins have done a good job of keeping the crowd quiet so far in Greenville. Osborne. She was an All-American as a freshman, too. There are only five players that have been AP All-Americans all four years of their career. Beal knocks it down. This team in Columbia, and they knew it would be a full house of Gamecock fans, and it is. Cook, and in and down. Cook, Beal, and Boston together for over 130 games. Rice gets the mid-range. Cook the lob, taken away by the Bruins. And here's Jones leaking out the other way. Foot race is on, and Cardoso is back to swat it. What a play. Closing speed on Jones off the glass into their one seed. Of course, South Carolina's here. Virginia Tech tonight with Elizabeth Kitley and Georgia Amor. The job that Kenny Brooks has done with the Hokies. The guards sometimes will switch to steal. There's a difference. Kara Fletcher lobs it inside, count it. And one opportunity for Cardoso. This is a great seal. She holds her defender up the line. The Best Warren baseline blocked by Boston. Oh no, and a third foul on Best Warren. Reveal. Boy, she's having herself a terrific first half. 9.6 rebounds for Beal. I mean, look at the cushion. Look where the defense is. Everyone's in the paint, and there's Beal out there by herself. A late contest. Just one for three in the first half. There have not been many opportunities for Charisma. Iwala muscles it up and in. Zaya Cook trying to throw over the top. She loves that right hand. Blocked. They have to set new screens for South Carolina. They're getting in between them. She said, we need more reversals and creating lanes to drive and attack. There's a create a lane drive and attack from Charisma Osborne. I think they got to put the ball in Charisma Osborne's yes. hand a little bit more. And on the other end, look at the acceleration and the use of the others. Tonight on ESPN2, as we fill out the Elite Eight, 
Cook through the door screens. Weak side board. Peel. Bucket Saxton inside. There's always something a player can do to get better. Fletcher. And one. A great ball movement and a great acceleration on the baseline by Fletcher. Goes side to side and then Fletcher takes it strong. Look how she uses her body, Beth. That's what I'm talking about. Rim body ball. It's not like back to back or there's been a span of at least four years between each of those final fours. It's pretty remarkable if you think about it. So you know they've been in that situation. I think the Elite Eight game has an awful lot of pressure on it. One of the greatest upsets in the history of the tournament. Yeah. Now South Carolina's got it going on the offensive end. Saxton. Time you can get ahead of the ball and you run hard. And look at Saxton with an early seal. We'll be calling one of those games. Three pointer is good for the Bruins. Beal thought about it, but that mm -hmm. might be a little too far out of her range. They try to lob into oh Cardozo and the catch over the defender. <laughs> All over the floor and especially down low. I mean, watch this right here. Look at the target hand. It's a great pass away, only where she can catch. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. Look where that ball is caught at the front. Bessoir. Got it for three. Class in the conversation. If they can lock down another ring in Dallas. The likes of Shamiqua Holstlaw, Diana Tarasi, and Maya Moore. Some of the all-time greats over the years. Knocked out of bounds. They'd be the fifth program to do that. They'd be the fourth program to try and go back to back to win titles. How about that move? Carolina here in the third. They trailed by 10 at the break. Cardoso again, position. What you got to do, make her catch it off the lane, Beth. Hall with a nice fade. Out of Dayton, Ohio. Osborne blocked by Boston. Another lob over the top, Cardoso. Got it. We're going to start calling it the Staley. Yes. Well, one of her um, idols was good at that. You know, Don Staley and I are a lot alike. Kids, Google Mo yeah. Cheeks, a great point guard for Dr. J in Philly. Did you wear a rubber band? Who used band? to do that? Did you wear a rubber band on your wrist like I Mo Cheeks? did not. What do you think coming up, Ohio State, UConn, and yep. then, uh, Virginia Tech, Tennessee tonight? Well, I'm excited about watching Ohio State and UConn as Bree Hall sticks another. Well, when Coach Daly decides to put Olivia Thompson in, that's when the roof's going to go off the building. So the senior class, because she's the one senior that doesn't get as much yeah. time. She's the fifth. The push. Ami here nails it. Osborne, the senior from Moreno Valley, California, closing out her year. National championship. And so many of the women coaching today and coaching this weekend owe oh, such a debt to those that have come before. Great mentor to Pat Summit. Yes, and a 76 Olympic coach. And a really great competitive golfer who loved that sport almost equally to how much she loved. And you're going to have to figure out what to do with all that size. Jones hits the mid range. And the South Carolina Gamecocks are moving on to the Elite Eight. 59 43 over UCLA. South Carolina still unbeaten. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.